Hi Scorpio, welcome to your reading. How are you doing? This is your tarot love reading. It is a general one. Keep in mind this, that this reading may or may not resonate with all of you. If it does not resonate that this is not your reading. And keep in mind that this, this is okay. Don't force it to resonate, that's what I mean. Now, please let me know in the comment section below this video, what is your current love situation and what are you most interested to know about in the tarot reading at this moment of time? So, with that being said, let's start. Let's shuffle four times the deck. I want to start with the current energies. There's so much love and pain here mixed together. A very unfortunate uh, moment because I do think you have been hurt so deeply because you love so deeply as well. Let's hope it was not a third, part, third party situation, but it can be the case with a Three of Swords and the pain may be much more harder. It seems like a knife put into the heart and being twisted and um, that was really painful um, this is healing definitely but i do believe you showed them what was the power of love of real honest deep love now let's see about what is affecting you in your subconscious three of cups if it was a third party situation you do think a lot about that you want a much more secure uh, practical and serious mature uh, partner here more grounded thinking stability thinking long term now what was the main challenge in the past four of swords reversed there may have been some moments of pause or on and off that damaged the connection you thought you were giving time to heal it but in fact then coming back were reinforcing the negative patterns that were present. Yes, it was too heavy, very dramatic. I do believe you were doing more than them, carrying all that weight by yourself, while this load should have been shared. Those responsibilities of being in a connection should have been shared with each other, if the love was mutual. Now, how do you view this situation? The magician. You want to manifest this, but as long as you think about starting to take action, you see nothing being long-term and happy with them. You don't see the stability and happiness and harmony that you're looking forward to being in a connection. Even though you may have desire to make uh, this connection better or give this another opportunity or view this connection in a better light, Still, you don't see this going long term. And you have been in this mood of uh, disappointment, regrets and sadness. And maybe many of you losing optimism in love in general. And even rejecting in a direct or indirectly way all those good opportunities, in fact, that were coming towards you with those two of cups here. You have some chances, good chances that could have grown to, to something important, in fact, but you were ignoring them. And what is your hope? Yes, you do want that passionate, intensive, real connection, but you don't want lies, you don't want manipulation, and you don't want to be with a person that one day shows affection to you, like they are crazy in love with you, love bombing you, but after a week, a month, or several months, they go back to the same old patterns of being cold, detached and confusing you. In fact, you are not confused at all because if you are in tune with your intuition that is very strong, it is always telling you the truth. It's like an antenna getting all the right si uh, signs there. And if they th think or tell you that you are wrong, uh, that you are... Uh, understanding everything wrong in fact they are wrong not you but you somehow don't want to accept or may have not wanted to accept what was going in front of your eyes nothing 
can be hidden from you. No one can lie you, Scorpio. So I do, I do say this. Trust your intuition more. And if you see red flags, those are really big red flags. And you should better believe those and not give chances to those people that show you, especially since the very beginning, the true colors. And yeah, so you don't waste time and energy on the partner that is not for you. Now let's see about this person that is on your mind. Let's see about this person. What do they have as the energy? Maybe they are married or they are getting married. I'm getting two stories here. And they have been waiting for you, Scorpio. They have been waiting for you. And now they are feeling discouraged. They know that this was a special connection. That intensity, that uh, connection they cannot find in anyone else. Now, even if they are getting married or they are married already to somebody else, they think a lot about you, about restarting communication again, maybe making peace with you. But after all that, there's this desire that they still have for you, uh, being physical with you. That physical chemistry is still very strong. They would like communication to happen. But they know, they know this has ended. This cannot be restarted. That is why they are especially feeling so many, so much discouraged right now. And they have posed all this. They know that what they did was, uh, was wrong with all capitals. And they have been reflecting, reflecting a lot about this. That's why they have put a stagnancy to the energies of the current situation. If they are not married, they have thought a lot about commitment with you, moving in with you, being in a re relationship, starting something again and starting with reconciling and trying to be more patient with you. But they can't stop thinking of this idea that it has ended and it cannot be restarted. And that is the main blockage for them to start the communication faster or uh, just to start it just to start talking to you the tower moment was so destructive in fact it shook the connection totally it shook it and that castle was in fact unfortunately made of sand and that's why it got um, broken down to pieces and It revealed a big truth that its foundation was not that strong, in fact. Now, if this reading resonated with you and if you want to know more details about this person that is on your mind and more details about you, so if you want to continue to watch the full uh, reading, I will continue now with the extended video that is in the description box below and you can watch it right now if you are interested. Thank you for watching, see you the next reading and bye for now.